program is brought to you by the Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences at the University of Melbourne. Please visit us at www.mdhs.unimelb.edu.au. This is a uh, new project that started just this year under the uh, University's Strategic uh, Initiatives uh, Research Fund. Uh, supported by the Vice-Chancellor's uh, Office and by the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Research and we've called the project MOVES, M-U-V-E-S, that's Melbourne University Vers Virtual Environments for Simulation. And the idea is to bring together uh, people across the university, different faculties, different disciplines, so we have people from three faculties, from Science, Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry, Health Science and from the Faculty of Engineering and we're taking expertise from computer science, from the health sciences, from cognitive science and uh, cognitive psychology, uh, engineering, mechatronics, robotics, that type of work, and adapting that to a whole variety of, of health uh, uh, applications, such as the uh, surgery you need to implant uh, cochlear, or, uh, the artificial uh, cochlear implants. The main benefits of the virtual surgery uh, is the ability to train many people in a short period of time and very efficiently. In the past we've had to train people on cadavers and these days the cadavers are very very difficult to get so all of our trainees are missing out on the experience that most surgeons of my age had. In the future we expect that much of the training that went on on cadavers could happen on the virtual re reality simulator. Fantastic. We've had some of our surgical trainees try this out. Most of them really enjoyed it. They thought it was much more fun than standard training, largely because it's a bit like a computer game and, largely, and because of the type of interaction that you have with a student. When you're using the system, you're on a simulator yourself, you're both like it's you're playing a computer game together, really, uh, and that's something that you never have with uh, formal surgical training. So it's a great deal of fun for both the trainer and the trainee. The idea that we may remotely do surgery is certainly something that uh, motivates NASA because they want to go to Mars. Uh, but for this type of surgery, probably not quite. However, much that we learn here would be very, very helpful for people that will require remote surgery. Uh, we're using it in, for example, uh, physiotherapy exercises for people in regional remote areas. One of our new projects, we've got a project in dentistry for implant dentistry and uh, what's known as wisdom tooth surgery and we've got other projects um, taking that expertise and making it available to other uh, areas. For example in the uh, pilot training area where similar types of uh, simulations are done. Well I think you can come and see how surgery will be taught in the future and how remote surgery is likely to be done and you can come and feel the skin of a patient put your uh, hand through it and feel the organs inside and you can uh, hold a beating heart in your hand. You can try your own hand at surgery because you can have as much fun as, as we do. <laughs> <laughs> this has been very much a joint uh, project with CSIRO. It actually began as a third year uh, student uh, software engineering project uh, about five or six years ago. It was then taken over by CSIRO who put some very uh, experienced and, and, uh, and devoted programmers onto it for several years who came up with a prototype which is now uh, licensed by a company which will be used in medical uh, surgical training. Um, the sort of budget is uh, around half a million dollars but the real value in, in terms of this project is to bring together uh, people from all around the university with expertise that might not exist um, in, in other places it's the people who can work together. It's the collaboration and building up a centre of, of expertise that's uh, really important. And the value to the economy at the end of this and to surgical training and to other aspects of, of health and industry uh, it could be many times the investment. The program is brought to you by the Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences at the University of Melbourne. Please visit us at
www.unimelb.edu.au.